What's going on, y'all? Welcome to episode 28 of the Obed Vargas Career Mode. Uh, I did a little bit of research for the Premier League. The goal scoring record is 36 held by Erlen Holland, a uh, teammate of ours. And the assist record is 20. So I would love, love, love to own one of those before we leave the Premier League. I think it'd be awesome. Uh, with that said, I, I thought we would start the episode looking at our career stats so far because we hadn't done that much in this uh, series. It's probably be a great, this or the calendar would be a great place to start every episode. Our market value is $206 million. Current wage is $370,000 a week. Uh, we've almost played 200 games and we almost have, we have 105 goals and 62 assists. Which puts us right at 167 goal contributions for 182 appearances. It's pretty dang good. Not very many losses and not very many red cards. In fact, zero red cards. It was a great thing. But let's look at where we're at with this season. Manchester City, 2025-2026 season. We're playing center mid, second in the Premier League right now. Average rating 1,569.4 on a scale of 1 to 10. No, I don't actually know what scale that is on. It only gives us a rating in the game to uh, 100. So I'm not really sure what the 1,569 means. But... Um, We've been the man of the match five times, team of the week once, uh, 19 appearances, 13 goals. I'm thinking that we might have, because, I mean, it's not even January yet. We might have a good shot at both of these, um, get, or at least getting close to both of these. It doesn't have to happen this season. Uh, records, eight assists, 13 goals, 19 appearances. That's, you know, more than one one uh, goal contribution per game. I real quick I did want I, I did want to take a look at our Barcelona season from 2024 to 2025. We had 41 goals and 15 assists in 56 appearances. Now I think that includes everything. So but that's still a lot. That's a whole lot of goals. It's not like 100 goals, but you know, not bad. All right. Now with that being said, first thing on the docket today is Arsenal. I know a lot of Arsenal fans, and I cannot skip this game. For some reason, my my, my Xbox, I like canceled my um, some subscription on here, and so it's been popping up all these. I don't know. My Xbox like reset or something. I'm not really sure what's happening, but uh, it's if you see some weird stuff, it's just weird right now. It's okay. 94 overall. Obed Vargas. You know, I'm not even sure how old we are right now. I know we're not young anymore. We're older than 20. Lost count. Reminds me of real life just a little bit. Alright, I'm really pumped up about this, you guys. We're digging further and further into this guy's career. We're getting to a point where we're really going to start breezing through this stuff. This is like the furthest I've ever been in a career mode um, on this channel, of course. This is the first career mode I ever started. And I really want to finish it out, but I want to make sure that uh, I'm experimenting with how to wrap these things up. One thing I really don't like about some of the people that I followed, and, and there's a lot of really, really great guys out there that, that, that do similar content here. and. and there's a lot of great stuff to see. But some of the guys that I've followed and I kind of fell in love with before I started doing this, that inspired me to do this. Um, you know, if one of their series wasn't doing very well, they would just end it. Um, you know, and just kind of stop making episodes. And that's fine. You know, that's bottom line. You know, logistics makes sense. Nobody's watching it, whatever. But a lot of your loyal fan base are still watching it, you know? And, you know, there's somebody out there that was watching it just because they really enjoy you. And the people who were watching it are still watching it. Um, 
are kind of left behind, you know, and without an ending to a certain career mode. So I want to make sure there's an ending to the, you know, if there's two or three people still watching after episode 50, we're not going to get to episode 50, but let's just say we do. Um, I'm, I'm just because people stop watching it, and I'm like, okay, I got to end this thing. I'm gonna find. I want to figure out a way to put an end on it, you know, so it's not just like no end of the story, you know. You know, I want to make sure you guys know I appreciate you. Fargus cranks one up. Speaking of, we've been talking about everything but the game so far. It's been a really close affair. Obed Vargas caught out of position a good bit here. I forgot Arsenal has Colo. Boy Colo. Holland plays it back to Vargas. Vargas tries to cut it back across the body of his defender, but his defender stuffs him, puts the brakes on that guy. As my buddy Chewy would say. Nice header back into the open midfield. Oh, Vargas pummeled. Pummeled on that one. Absolutely embarrassed. His girlfriend was sitting in the audience right there, and she said, I don't know that guy. Disowned him. Come out, Keith. Good save. Good save. Oh, I think I think I was trying to, I thought that was my header and I was trying to play it. But it was not my header, it was somebody else's and they were trying to play it to me. And I didn't really give him a good position after an arsenal corner kick. I've been playing my Inner Miami career mode. By the way, if you haven't seen the Inner Miami career mode, do me a favor, hop over to the channel, subscribe. First and foremost. And then um check out the playlists and go to episode one of the Inner Miami Career Mode and check it out from the beginning. And that's halftime, y'all. Uh, zero to zero, 45 minutes played. Obed Vargas still looks 16 in this game. Uh, but check out my Inner Miami Career Mode. I've been playing it so much that uh, it's kind of weird playing as a single player now. There we go. Step by one man. Step by, oh, and we play it straight to the guy. What are we doing? What are we doing? Jorginho, please don't shoot that. Oh, my gosh, what a great save. Wonderful save. Great header from Obed Vargas. Out of the back. Can we get a ball through? Come on. That was a. Mm. I wanted that first guy, number seven, uh, De Bruyne, <laughs> number 17. I wanted De Bruyne to play that to me. And he made an extra pass. And then they tried to play it to me. And it was way more direct. De Bruyne had an angle. He could have played me out wide. Led me, led me into space instead of a defender. And Holland had a. Speaking of Holland, had a wonderful run going. Oh, ref. I think we should have took that foul. Yeah, we should have took that foul. We don't have anybody forward. And had everybody back. Arsenal puts one in the back of the net in the 62nd minute. 30 seconds. And uh, just like that. I think that was our boy, wasn't it? I don't, I don't really want to see. Yeah, it was Colo. Punishing us for playing on a different team than he. We are a striker now. We just got moved to striker. I'm okay with that. Nice little touch there. A little touch back inside. Oh, we just don't have the speed. We just don't have the speed to make up for that. I like this playing a striker thing, though. That's pretty cool. Down. Geez, got checking space. Guy was looking for us all, and Arsenal's going to get a second one, and that's going to be the dagger in our coffin there. I don't know if we're going to come back from that one. Colo has two. I think he said he had four goals in uh, 12 matches this season, and now he's got five. He had three before this game. I feel like he scored against us last time, so he might have. 
bunch of his goals just against us. Oh, Vargas gets a shot off, and the Goldie's just able to tip that over the crossbar. Magnificent, and we deserve to, to, to get taken out in that one. Grealish comes in for Obed Vargas. 6.1 match rating. We got one shot off and four passes. It's absolutely horrible. To those of you who uh, were barking in the barking, uh, yelling at me in the comments uh, about passing more, we tied. I was the problem. I was the problem that whole time. Wow. Um, about passing more, I'm, I'm working on it. That wasn't a very good example of it. That was such a bad display that uh, I think we just lost our starting spot. So, so what we are going to do here, I want to kind of sim through some of these games, but I want to do it the long way. I want to make sure that we are keeping our spot and I also want to make sure the team doesn't get derailed I mean we have a solid team we have two 94s a 90 a 91 85 88 I mean this is just like a loaded team absolutely loaded no way that we struggle at all against Co Co FCK FCK Copenhagen 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 yeah there's no way we struggle against them. Vargas is 7.0. Not all that great. Really need some good, good appearances. And that's why part of why I want to do it this way. I want to make sure that we are not neglecting um, our player and his form. Because we will sim right through that bad form. Three to nothing. We could use a goal or something. Vargas with an 8.6 overall rating. Maybe we had some assists in there. Now we were reduced to a sub. That's fun. That's exactly what we wanted out of life. Not. We, uh... Sorry for that. We have, we have some new neighbors. We have, a, like, three of these houses around us are now new neighbors, uh, which is goofy because there's a bunch of people walking around that I don't know, you know, and I, I get distracted and, and look around. So Chelsea versus Man City. It's the 16th of December. Let's real quick look at our calendar. I really want to get down to this Manchester. United match, but this Chelsea match might be really important. Well, the next UC, I really want to come down to here. I, 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 I want to play Man City or Man United and then UCL. So let's do that. We're gonna sim to here. We're just gonna do a week at a time here. We beat Chelsea, we beat Fulham. Let's go take a look, and um, we're back to being a sub. We really got to be careful with this simming. I mean, the, the, the more we sim, it is, it's the only way to move th through things really quickly, but I'm sure there's a mod for this situation, but I really, uh, I'm, I'm on an Xbox, so I'm not really sure that mods are available to me on here. I don't think I can download mods, but if you if you're on an Xbox and you're modding it up, let me know. Cause I, I I would very much so be interested in in doing such a thing. Looks like we're going to be simming straight over here. I really want to get. Was that an undefeated December? Because if so, that is awesome. Yes, yeah, an undefeated December. A draw to Arsenal. Sets the whole week up, or sets the whole month up. December's a month, not a week, by the way. Think about how funky that would be if we actually named our weeks. You know, like if week one had a name, week two had a name, week three, and then all the way to 52. I can't even, if I have 52 friends, I don't remember 52 names. Alrighty, let's come down here. 
to our cup match. I don't think we're gonna play it. Yeah, we're gonna come down here to the Hotspur. I'm working my way to the Manchester United. Oh, we won our cup match two to one. I think that puts us in the round of, around five, it puts us around five, whatever that is. Training. Train it up. We should be captain by now. <laughs> now that we are doing all this training. It's like five minutes. You guys are like, have watched me do five minutes of, uh, of simming and training. So I hope that you're entertained. So we beat Tottenham two to one, and then we tie to Leeds United. Are you kidding me? I don't think that's something that would happen. But okay. I'm going to be really interested after this Manchester uh, United match to take a quick look at where we're at in terms of goals and assists. So we're going to go ahead and come down here playing Preston and we win 3-1. to one. Always good to crush Preston. Man, we're so close to a 95. I mean, so close. One week away, I think. And here we go. We're going to be playing Manchester United away. And this is an important match because we're starting to pull back into first place range. And I would love to be a Premier League champion. I know Obed Vargas is feeling the same way. We're fully energized. Pedri's up to a 92. We're almost a 95. Holland up there up top. Let's do this thing. I'm really pumped up. By the way, while this is loading, I wanted to mention to you guys, I have narrowed down the uh, 50 subscriber celebration video to just a couple of things. Uh, at first, I thought I would do like a U.S. men's national team career mode, where basically I become the... Uh, I become the manager of a club, and I only pl and, I, and, I, and I play until I become the U.S. Men's National Team coach. At which time, oh, almost made that turn. At which time, I only show the U.S. Men's National Team games. So I would literally just cut my camera off, and get to the games, and then cut it back on and play them, and hopefully win some World Cups. But hopefully, I mean, definitely win some World Cups. Ooh, and that's going to be out for a corner. Uh, and the other option is to do a career mode where I am basically trying to make as much money as possible. So it's just like a youth academy. I'm buying and selling players, trying to see how much money can I have in my bank account. And maybe I put like a 20 year limit on it or something. and uh, just see how much money we can make in 20 years. I don't know, I don't know if that's a good idea or not. But you guys let me know, I will do one of those two things. Uh, or if you guys have a better idea, share those as well. Because it is to celebrate you guys a little bit, you know? So if you guys have a better idea, I'm okay with that too. I think I heard somebody mention to me, and, 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 and both those ideas are something I, I'll probably do anyway. So, you know, do not feel, you know, don't feel bad. Can we find ourselves in the space here? Oh, why did we press Y? I totally pressed Y. Why? has an update for us. There's been a goal at Goodison Park. Tell us all about it, Alex. Yeah, it's a goal for Arsenal. Vargas needing to track back here. I actually think we're playing just straight up. Nah, we're like the, we're like a lone center defensive mid. Thank you, Alex. Options in the middle. There we go, that's our spot. There we go. Good job. Now counter attacking possibilities here. Play me in. Oh come on. Open road for them, but up a dead end. Mm. 
Nice. Good steal. Obed Vargas. Oh, and it's goalie comes out and gets a leg to it. Gets a knee to it. A knee jerk reaction, might you say. Play me forward. Play me forward. Good little cut inside. Back out. Oh, you just don't have the speed to get around the guy. Stamina's just a little bit low. We need to sit up just a little bit. I have not been playing good. It's been a really rough episode. FIFA, you guys, and it's zero to zero. Manchester City versus Manchester United. If this continues, the very last match we're going to do in this episode is going to have to be a lesser opponent, and we're just going to have to crush somebody for for you know morale, get our confidence up, absolutely crush somebody. Oh my gosh. We're dominating when it comes to positioning in the midfield in terms of like one-on-one -on -one situations. Not positioning in terms of like team work positioning, but. Go Luke Shaw, Rashford plays the ball in. It's dealt with, that's for sure. Holland clumsy in that. And oh my gosh, Manchester United once it once again we've given up an early goal. Or not an early goal, but we've given up a crucial goal. Better get a goal at a crucial time. So City get the match restarted. Can they come up with an equalizer having to we just take this ourselves? It looks like they're gonna give it to us. Vargas gets the shot off, but it, 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 it is deflected out of bounds. I was hoping that was deflected, because that would have been embarrassing if it was not. I'm trying to pick us out of the front post, it seems like. Not sure who that was meant for, but we are left cleaning this one up. Straight back. Everybody straight back. Rashford. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. I feel like I need to check and then move me back to striker again or well, let's join Alex Scott, shall we? Because I'm here oh, the Foden. has changed in the Everton game, Alex. Yeah, a second goal for the Gunners. They've pulled one back and now trail. I just want the ball, man. I want to be able to try to do something. Oh my gosh. We're getting stuffed. Absolutely stuffed. Our touch is gone, y'all. I'm not sure what I did. But uh, I'm nowhere near the player I was just an episode ago. This is just not my episode. But this is raw and real, so we're not we're we're, we're not going to be doing any of that uh any you know restarting stuff here. So ah, oh, two to one. Edwards comes in. I just don't like being subbed off in those situations. All right, we are going to pull ourselves a little bit forward here to this Juventus match. Go ahead and skip through Leicester City. We're in February of 2026. And we're training in light blue. And we're now a 95 overall center mid. Wow, 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 and we're still so young, still so young. And Juventus in the UCL Round 16 Champions League in Alliance Stadium. Stadium. Wow. And our free kick accuracy just went up. That's good. Says it's only 63%. Or 63 overall, which is not very good. It's amazing they let us take free kicks. Ever. At all. But here we are, y'all. 
this is not a good example of making your next opponent easy because this is not going to be an easy opponent but we have to have a good game we really have to have a good game it said there that our our, our short pass is 99 overall i think we should pass the ball i think that should be our focus give us the ball we're going to prove from the get-go that we today we are going to be a better teammate Oh, I was trying to get that into Holland. I swear I was. I swear I was trying to find space to play Holland in. I know he wasn't making a run either. I was just trying to get to his feet. Oh, somebody's got to be there to collect that when that man breaks that ball free. And this is how Juventus will line up. Oh my gosh, I had so much space. What, why was I doing that? I was trying to play Holland. I was trying to make up to Holland that ball that I didn't get to him a little bit earlier. I don't think it was a good idea. We need a glorious moment. We need redemption. I don't think we've proven ourselves in, in many a match. Oh my gosh, those touches. Oh, uh, we're going to have a moment of silence, I think. We're going to make this next attack work. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Could cross it in here. Oh, he saved it well. Wow. Oh my gosh. I keep on having plenty of space and just messing it up. And the ball oh, back no. with Juve now. If this is your first episode you're watching, I just want to, oh, a, a, a quick disclaimer. My whole channel is not me just running forward and getting the ball taken from me, I promise. Vargas with a shot. That was okay. That was like the most productive thing we've done all day. All day. That kind of sucks. Yeah, but you know, please go back and watch from episode one because you will realize that this is an outlier of uh, of, of an episode. And I'd really like for you to know that. <laughs> yeah, I'd like for you to just watch from episode one. Can we crank one? Oh my gosh, that was going uh, in the stands the entire time. But we did crank one. That is That's the most shots that have gotten off in a game. Uh, in, in, in the three games that we've played this episode. Can we play Holland in? Can we make it one another? We do. We get an assist. We bag an assist. And Holland, our great, our, our friend with a, with a rifle for a boot, just pockets that one. Absolutely. Rockets that one in the back of the net. We really needed a moment like that. And that right there can turn an episode around. I can, that can make a bad episode a great episode. Winning away in the Champions League in the 44th minute of the whole half to destroy Juventus. I want to try to get as much destruction in as possible. Especially if they're going to put McKinney in. I don't know if they have McKinney. I did just see their... Uh, they're picking up Timothy Weah, which is also interesting. So Juventus might be a fun little uh, career mode to do. Oh my gosh. I think he wanted me to dis continue to kind of distribute from the top of the 18 there. And I did not. I was willing to get a yellow. I'm pretty sure all the yellow cards... I picked up like all 11 of them 
astute piece of defending. In this uh, career, have been manually committed fouls like that one. Well, the reported fee is around sixty-five million pounds, <clears throat> which I would say is just about right for a player of his quality. It's now just a matter of whether they find that acceptable. Showing a lot of guile there. Oh, come on. There was so much space. I had one man to beat. I need to go back to my roofs. What, what's been successful in this game is the passing. And that's what I need to go back to here. Kim Rocket, oh my gosh. Vargas got a rocket off there. Absolutely challenged the goalkeeper. Very, very dangerous. And uh, that's the kind of thing we're looking for right there. That's the kind of thing like like that passing just opens up the entire game on offense. If you can get your uh, entire attacking third to just be a smooth machine passing-wise. Like all your guys willing to give up 10, 15% chance opportunities to try and find that one. And just trust that enough of, you know, enough of those 50, 60% chance opportunities are gonna come their way throughout the season that it's worth giving them to somebody else in the moment. If you can live in those with, with that mentality the entire season, you're on something good. And right now, I seem to be the problem. So, until today, today's a different story. Vargas, oh, and the goalie puts one hand up and is able to put it out of bounds for a goal or a corner. And uh, we have a corner. Sure enough. Vargas, oh, it could be a handball. But we have handballs in the penalty box turned off right now, actually. Because if you turn that on, you will get 150,000, and I mean 150,000, handballs. And it's absolutely annoying and insane that they would happen that often. For a second, I thought that was a full-time whistle. I was going to be very, very excited. Uh, but it was not the full-time whistle. I'm going to take one more opportunity here. I should have played Holland in. But I did not. Holland already ate today, though, and it is okay. A much better game to end the episode. I want to thank you guys so much. If you watch that whole thing, you're my hero. Because I played like crap. We all know I played like crap. Um, I'm going to make it up to you. I'm going to record another Vargas episode right now. I'm going to make it up to you and play a lot better. We're going to crush some people. We're going to score some goals. It's going to be high action, high intensity. I committed to finding another adjective before I was actually sure I needed another adjective. So, glad I found one. A high impact on the game is what Vargas is going to have. And uh, I just love you guys. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. Like, comment, and Make sure you go back to episode one if this is the first episode you're watching. Love you guys. Peace.